Hmm. And I think this is the first time we having dinner together during Christmas. Yeah, it was the first Christmas the first dinner Christmas together. together. Yeah. Usually we go to, to Victor's friends friends' house. Mm -hmm. This is the first year we stayed at home and had our own Christmas dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, nah sekarang si Bubu sudah punya contekannya nih buat masak prime rib ya. Dan ini daging prime ribnya tuh. Nah sebelumnya ini Bubu sudah smash salt sama peppers nih dihalusin ya. si bubu dia akan lumurin dengan bumbu dulu tapi dia nggak akan masak sekarang karena terlalu early <laughs> si bubu habis bangun tidur langsung masak nah yang pertama dagingnya itu dilumurin sama just oil right bubu That's it. I know. I mean, like for the ingredients only like that. Oh, so simple. Itu guys, jadi cuma dilumurin sama oil. Abis itu dia bilang dia main aja selama satu jam kata gitu. Si oil lagi. So we have to sit for about an hour. an hour and then after that ready for the bake yeah. in the oven for how long? For 60 minutes. 60 minutes? Mm -hmm. No, bake at 500 mm -hmm. for 20 minutes. Bake 500 degrees for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then turn the oven down to 300 mm -hmm. and 50 and bake for another 60 minutes. Oh, so total is like almost two hours, eh? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys. Dijarin aja dulu ini udah dilumurin dengan salt, pepper, sama rosemary tuh. Kelihatan kan penampilannya? gampang itu siapa bilang <laughs> ini kan caranya si bubu simple karena itu dia sudah memanaskan uh, ovennya buat ngebik posisinya bake 450 Fahrenheit tadi itu um, bake potato yang sudah bubu panggang dengan benih sekarang kita saatnya memasukkan
Sementara itu, Bubu sudah menyiapkan host radis yang dicampur dengan wheat Worsi sour cream, Bubu? Ya Dan ini sour cream yang dipakai si Bubu Ya, tuh brandnya ini nih ini enggak terlalu mahal di Kanada biasa ini sour cream ini jadi campur sama host radis ini buat side condiments dan ini biasanya ditaruh di uh, top of the baked potato ya si bubu juga sudah siapkan bacon ini ya nanti buat ditabur di di baked potato nya nanti nih bacon so baked potato bacon sour cream yang sudah mix sama Post radish and this is a uh, green onion also. So three of them on top of the baked potato, right? That's for the prime rib. Yeah, for the side too. Oh, for the uh, prime rib and so sour cream for the potato. So sour cream, this one green onion and bacon with for potato. the potato. So inilah guys penampakan prime ribnya. Ooh, dagingnya. Baru si Bubu lagi bikin gravy sauce ya. Yeah. Ini dia time date-nya guys. Oh, look at that, the details. Hmm, yum yum. Kalau tanya resepnya gimana bikin gravy, <laughs> dia nggak bakal ngasih tahu. <laughs> Kata dia bilang, this is my secret recipe Ooh. Look at it Hot It's hot Ya gitulah kalau tangannya chef ya Panas-panas juga dia tetap hajar Sausnya yummy banget guys. Oops, ini dia. Uh, tu garam ama apa? Lada. nonton ini bu pembantaian <laughs> ini pembantaian apa apa nih mutilasi nih bu uh, tuh mutilasi hampir aja ketendang Halo guys Nah hari ini Malam Natal ya Jadi aku mau bubu Sudah mempersiapkan dinner Yaitu prime ribs ya. Jadi prime ribsnya itu seperti ini Penampakannya Si bubu Nah Ya seperti ini Di serve dengan Oju sausnya itu <laughs> ya beginilah kalau bikin video sendiri ya guys jadi ini sour cream kita taruh itu di atas uh, potato ya ya bobo bobo ya good terus kita taruh butter sedikit Okay, agak manyos ya yeah. aku butter gak terlalu suka banyak-banyak oh sebelumnya kita ngucapin selamat natal lagi guys buat dimanapun kalian berada ya yeah. ah, karena berhubung pandemik so we celebrate Christmas just two of us because of the pandemic right Bobo? yeah we're not allowed 
together, have our families together. Together. Unless we live in the same house. Yeah. And even if you invite someone, only allowed only one person. You're only allowed to invite one person. One person stay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Don't forget. Oh, the vegetable. Oh, what did you cook? Asparagus. Oh, asparagus. Oh, the asparagus. Lagi dimasak itu kan di. Be careful behind you, the camera. Yeah. Oh. Ini aujusnya ni dari resepnya sendiri. Itu tidak ada di restoran, guys. Dia punya resep sendiri ya, malum lah dia kan chef ya, jadi coba ya. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's hot for you, the. Do you have a tongs, Bobo? Yeah. Look at this. That's okay. I put it for you already. <laughs> How many tongs? Hmm? Ah, okay. I grab it already. Oh, okay. Let's see. You wanna pray? Yeah. You pray for us? You go. Okay. Dear God, thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for the dinners that you bring. Doanya cepat-cepat aja guys, udah lapar masalah. <laughs> This is perfect medium rare baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Good. Mm -hmm. If you bought this one in a horse, how much does it cost? Forty dollar. Least. Hmm. Yeah. And the potato is so yummy. So, oh, cheers, baby. Oh, cheers. Cheers, guys. Happy Christmas 2020. And Happy New Year 2021. Hopefully, this coming New Year is a better year for us. No more pandemic, please. Otherwise, oh, I don't know. What will happen if there's another pandemic, Bubu? Ugh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. Hmm. Well, well, I hope there's nothing happen. Oh, but, but anyway, there is a bomb blast. Blast in the uh, US, Tennessee. I just saw a... My mobile phone? Yeah, you said before. Mm -hmm. I like your hot radish, Bobo. Mm -hmm. So you mix this one with the uh, sour cream. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good though. He asked me, like, uh, if I want turkey, I said, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of turkey, <laughs> a big fan of beef. And then we were looking for the restaurant who can deliver the food, but actually it's Christmas. The restaurant is closed, right? <laughs> right, Bubu? Well, so, they can deliver a few days before. You have to pick up, but then you have to heat everything up. Then it's not fresh, right? Mm -mm. So I told him uh, I want a prime rib. So he went to Costco to the yesterday. Yeah. After seeing his doctor, and then here we go. It's this primary piece. How much you bought that one? The beef. How much was it? Mm -hmm. Eighty-seven dollar. Eighty-seven dollar. But it's a big lock, right? Mm -hmm. A big lock. What? Big one. Oh, it's a good size. Over five pounds. I think. Yeah, it's it's good for four people, I believe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kalau kami, uh, we always like the beef is uh, medium rare. That's why I didn't want to cook it in that thing, because what if it overcooked? Yeah, it's not good. This is perfect, soft. 
the meat. Some people doesn't like medium rare, but we do love medium rare. Always, mm -hmm. whenever we go to restaurant, we always order medium rare. Yeah, it turned out perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect and juicy, juicy. Yeah. That's why you wait five minutes before you cut into it. Mm -hmm. So the juices go back into the meat. Uh, it's like a slow cooking again, right? I eat prime beef since I'm in Canada, Bobo. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> I don't eat prime beef this one in Jakarta. No. Or even in Dubai, no. There is a prime um, beef like Wagyu, you know the prime beef like this. First time, I tried primaries maybe when we had dinner, right? Mm -hmm. In ours, on my birthday too. Mm. <coughs> and the potato is so perfect, we both soft. Yeah, thank you. But it's only baked, right? You bake it, you yeah. don't boil it. It's baked. And I overcooked the asparagus one. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Can you tell us how to make your secret recipe? The uh, how juice, boo boo? Mm? The gravy? How you make the gravy? I just took the. So it is. The stuff from the pan. Mm -hmm. I just prime rib out of the pan and then I just added some water. Okay. And some beef flavor. Mm -hmm. And just bring it to a boil. So it's so. So actually, our gravy is from the broth of the. From the juice from the, the prime rib. Mmm. That's why it's so yummy. I wish we could invite our sister in law. Um, yeah, my sister. We can't because of this lockdown thing. Because there's she has a husband, so there would be two, not three. Three. If she was by herself, we could invite her. Yeah. I'm mean, planning to invite Davy, but <laughs> they are with her husband too, so we can. Well, and if you cheat and they catch you, you get a thousand dollar fine. Thousand dollar fines, guys. Right? So that's why we we have to be careful. Like I believe some people they do party, right? Oh yeah. More than like supposed to, but well, people still want to just celebrate it with their friends, family. Yeah, but then then the virus will spread spread again. That's what the government worry about. Uh, There's this. people gonna cheat. Of course, right? How are they gonna control it? Do you think police will keep an eye on like door to door? No. They can't go into their house and say, mm -hmm. too many people here. Yeah. The only thing they track is from social media. They have access to social media, right? Yeah. They found like something like more than supposed to. Probably they're gonna catch them, then find them. It's happened with one of my friends who having a party for the Halloween. They are having a party 50 people. So 50 people times 1,000, so 50,000 fine. That's good a photographer make money. Yeah. But thank you, like Edmonton is not so bad like in other city of Canada like Toronto. They are totally locked down. Like they cannot even go out, right? It's no. totally locked down. But here you can still go out. They can go out, but they just can't. Yeah. And then know. Oh my god, I want to bring this one for my lunch tomorrow. <coughs> There's more left. Huh? There's lots left. I just put it in the oven to keep it warm. Keep warm and then should I slice it maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Tomorrow is the Boxing Day in Canada and North America, right, Bubu? Yeah, just Canada. 
Not, not U.S. Oh, only in Canada? Yeah. It's an English tradition. English tradition. But now Indonesia, they also uh, follow that tradition move the Boxing Day oh. thing. That's what I saw in social media. Yeah, they didn't. The U.S. doesn't have Boxing Day. Oh, they don't? No, just Canada, because it's oh, an English tradition. So the, bo the Boxing Day is originally from England. And then the Black Friday originally from US, right? All right. So all oh, the way around. So that's why they don't have Boxing Day there. Mm. But they still do Boxing Day anyway, right? Well, they have sales, oh. but it's not called Boxing. Boxing Day, Day no. Well, usually in the mall, like Boxing Day tomorrow, people start line up at 7 o'clock, right? 6. 6 o'clock. That's why when you saw on the YouTube video, like the crazy about Boxing Days, I have one video about the Boxing Days. Oh, that's so crazy. And they give a lot of uh, discounts, like half price, like 50% off, right, Bubu? Yeah, 75. Mm -hmm. um, electronics too. So yummy. I wish we can invite one of our friends. <laughs> I wish to. Lisa. Yeah, how did how are you doing now? I don't know. Kalau prime rib kayak gini ini biasa di restoran mahal. How much does it cost bubu in the restaurant if you order like about 40, right? 40 dollars? About 40. 45. Yeah. 45, 40, 45. Cost biasanya kalau kita makan di Earl's atau di Keg itu biasa segitu uh, price-nya. Sini udah kayak restoran dia menunya tuh beef semua, kebanyakan beef ya. Uh, speciality mereka, signature dish-nya tuh beef. Ini jarang-jarang bu, bu, masak prime rib. Have you done cooking the turkey, bu, bu, for me? Hmm? Did you ever? Never had turkey. No, right? You don't like it. Uh -huh. I would have made a turkey, but you don't like it. I like it, but not so, no, not so, or fans like beef. I don't know. <laughs> Turkey just can't eat like one or two slices, that's it. Well, that's, yeah, I know. How about you? Well, I like it, but not like a lot. Not a lot, like not compared to beef, right? Well, I wouldn't eat turkey every day. But I don't think like Amazon tomorrow boxing day will be so crazy. We'll see. I oh yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, a lot of people doing order for the to boxing day. I believe it used to be before a long time ago. Mm -hmm. it was Boxing Day just the day after Christmas? Uh -huh. Only one day. That's it. But now so the stores used to be packed. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even walk into the store because it was so full. Packed. Yeah. But now. It's Boxing Week. Yeah. So they make give you a longer time to go. Makes sense until New Year. And then that's it. Because that's the the achievement for the store. How they make revenue, right? End of the year, right? And then January, January clearance. Oh, there's another event too? So yeah, January clearance, blowout sale. Mm hmm. Hmm? He gave me the big one. <laughs> well, yeah. I almost full now. Last time we had prime rib in Lisa's house, right? Yeah. He, he cooked also nice. I made it before. Yeah. No, I mean last time uh, Lisa. Oh, yeah. With her husband. Yeah. They put it in the middle. bike, I mean Lisa. Ooh, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh. Me too, oh my god. I don't eat the petal a lot now. <coughs> I like the juice. That's just from the meat. From the meat you put water, you don't put the, any... No, any, just water. Any flour? Or? No flour. No. 
Just water. Mm -hmm. First time I ate everything. Huh? Maybe what? I'm afraid because if I eat beef, it's my cholesterol. <laughs> No, that's why pork. Huh? Pork. Pork, yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, red meat compared to white meat. But pork is cholesterol. Or beef is not cholesterol. Yeah. You didn't drink your wine. I do. <laughs> wine makes me tipsy a lot. Cheers. Cheers. My new glasses. Mm -hmm. From Victor for my Christmas. I, I bought this one and give Christmas for him. It looks like Cebu. They're beautiful. I like the stem. <laughs> I ordered it from Amazon. I was like, mm. is it right? Because I usually got, I got this from Safeway yesterday. Half oh. price. Oh, that's cool. The lantern. Santa. Going down the chimney. Mm -hmm. You always buy something you need. <laughs> <laughs> always buy some new ornament every year. Yeah. So this year I know that's 2020. Yeah, and especially for the Christmas uh, decoration, we always buy some ornament, the small things. So that's why we can remember all this is when we celebrate 2018, 2019. Hmm. And I think this is the first time we're having dinner together during Christmas. Yeah, it was the first Christmas, the first Christmas dinner Christmas together. together. Yeah. Usually we go to, to Victor's friends. friend's house. Mm -hmm. This is the first year we stayed at home and had our own Christmas dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's kind of quiet, right? It's kind of nice. <coughs> <It's> nice. <coughs> so during... <coughs> in the morning, we opening the gift Christmas. And then after that, we have a breakfast. breakfast. He prepared the breakfast. Totally, I just relax, you know. Yeah, and I just cook. Cook. It's not hard. You just put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. Well, no, I know how to you prepare it because I thought it's really, really it's hard. complicated. Well, it can be hard if you don't do it right. Yeah. Because the the most important is about the cooking temperature and the way how you put it, right, Bubu? Yeah, you're and supposed to. They they tell you should have a thermometer to test the temperature. Yeah, I don't do that. Because he knows. I know. I can tell by the feel. The feel that by touching. I never use the thermometer. No, you never use it. Even like when he cooked the uh, steak. On the barbecue, he's just bling, 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 bling. And Once then, in a while, I overcook them. Yeah, and then he touching, and then he know, oh, this is medium rare. Well, once in a while, I overcook, but that's because I had my mind somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, my boo boo ate everything. <laughs> yeah, mommy. Hmm? I like my If you buy turkey, I don't will eat. I will I not eat so much. Maybe only one turkey. I don't well, know. See, they have restaurants for making turkey dinners. Yeah. So, for there was one restaurant, seventy-six dollar. So you get turkey dinner for two. Mm -hmm. But they did it for the day before Christmas. No, so. you don't. They don't deliver. You have to go pick up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have to go pick up. And then you, and then when you get it, well, of course you're not having it on the twenty-third. Yeah. So you have to wait and put it in the fridge and then you have to heat everything up this way just cook it yourself mm. it's just as fast yeah if you make a turkey i used to when i used to make a turkey for my family i used to get up at six in the morning clean the turkey stuff it oh yeah put it in the oven at six in the morning then it's ready by three in the afternoon mm -hmm. and then you let it sit so it gets all moist and then take the stuffing out and then by that time you got the mashed potato and the yam cranberry, cranberry sauce everything i only made christmas dinner for my whole family once once the turkey 
When was that? When my mom was here alive and my sister Sandy. That's when Sandy and I, we we shared a house together. Mm -hmm. We lived together. With the uh, Roy? No. No, no. no oh, before you. Way before. before. Way before. Mm -hmm. And I made our first Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, that's lovely. That's a long time ago. That's yeah. it. Hey, my uh, when back home in my country with my family. Usually we don't celebrate Christmas much, but we celebrate New Year more. Christmas we just go to the church, and then after that we do presents. No, no, no. no. That's why this is since I'm in Canada. Oh my God! I don't ever know. <laughs> my family no, and my my I mean my tribe not used to be like that too, right? But nowadays Indonesia a lot of family now they doing like. Uh, Christmas, Christmas uh, opening gift, right? It depends on the family. And then during the New Year Eve, we go to church and then we have dinner with the whole family, and we invite some of the family from others' family. So it's like 60 people sometimes in my house. So we pray together for the new uh, coming, and then we do come down together, like wait until 12 o'clock. Mm. Then we we do like a we sitting on the floor, and then we talking each other like giving advice as they say from my parents, talking what is in his mind about his kids or whatever. So every fam uh, other family they talk, mm -hmm. and then after that, we visit to our uncle. The first time our uncle, we go there like say like oh happy new year, you know, so, and then move to get to another house. It was so retarded. I don't really like it. Like every year, can you imagine? Since I was a kid, we do it every year, and I cannot say no. Mm -hmm. And even my brother and sister. But after I, they grew up, because like we have a gap from the third and the fourth uh, kids, right? The gap's like five years. So mostly after Christmas, the three of them they just go with their friends, with the you know the church friends. Mm -hmm. And then me and my sister, we have to follow my father. Like so, we go around from this uncle to, to this uncle <laughs> again. And then oh, we have to go see the other uncle of our from our different grandfather. Uh, uh, oh my God, we have to go to Hidup Baru, Radio Dalam, and then Pondokin. No, one is Pondokin Daya. Yeah. And then satu, and then the other one is in Pasar Minggu. Sebelum itu Pasar Minggu dia rumahnya dulu Cililitan. Wah. You know, I just feel sleepy and then it's just like, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up, let's go move to another this one. <laughs> and it's until 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh and my then God, that's after awesome. that, the whole first January just sleep and then the second January back to the normal. <laughs> Bobo, thank you for the lovely dinner. You're welcome. Thank you for your cooking. Guys, thank you for watching our video. Thank so, you. see you on next Merry video. Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, okay? Bye bye.